Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So as you can see up here, we don't have too much time. We have to get going. Look at the next event. So in less than nine minutes, we have a mystic advancement that will happen at the same time as the level up. And you know how we like to double dip. I was waiting for this so that I could see what the last event was before I made a level up. Now there's a level up that I wanna make. That's why we're doing this uh, mystery rank up theater. So let's go ahead over there. All right, I had this set up already. So if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, leave it in the comments, but we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Kitty Pride. yes. All right, so I'm gonna have my head down. I will explain why, of course, uh, if you haven't seen videos, but we're gonna rank this girl up. All right, so I am very excited about this particular rank up. I've seen a few videos. I don't know how to play her that well, but just what I saw impressed me so much. Now, I love playing Ghost, and it looks like she is very ghost-like, and especially she has a couple of synergies that make her just insane. And already, they had to take away that true focus node because of the interaction it had with her abilities. But even without that, she is crazy. All right, so at this point in time, I have not used her outside of arena and very little in the arena because she was uh, only rank three. And I haven't been using my rank threes a lot in the arena when I'm just going for milestones. But she is now my latest rank five. And that should tell you guys something because right now my focus is more on six stars. And I have a lot of T2 alphas in my overflow. But for me to rank up a five star to rank five, it means that they are either crazy fun or I see a lot of potential in them. And they are almost certainly rank three, six star worthy, but I don't have them as a six star. All right. So that's why Kitty Pride. All right. So she is my latest rank five, five star. Uh, it's sort of unprecedented. That's why I am uh, trying to go quickly here. Uh, let's just take a, a brief look at her. We're not going to go in depth. Look at her attributes here. Switch over there. Um, we may do a deep dive uh, into her. Take a look at her bio, tags, ability. You can see I already have her at 120. Okay, for me, she needed to be awakened. And I did that during a mutant advancement some time ago. All right. So now I'll do a little gameplay, but it'll be after uh, this level up. So let me see what, how much time we have left. All right. So in five minutes, less than five, well, about five minutes, a little more than five minutes, we have a mystic advancement. So I have to decide what mystic I want to take up. Take a look at my uh, stash here. All right, so my catalyst stash, let's claim that. And let's see what we have left. All right, so we've got a bunch of T2 alphas right after that. You know, we still got some T4 basics, a couple of them. All right, so we're going to take a look at my mystics and I'll have that in another video uh, who I decide to just rank up uh, on the mystics, okay? Got to use those T2 alphas. I don't want to wait until it's too late and then I'm rushing to try to get all those T2 alphas done. So I'm going to be looking at my mystic five stars and see who I might take to rank four, but that'll be in another uh, video, all right? So for now, let's get some gameplay. All right, so this is the first time I am going to be using Kitty Pride. Do not know really how to use her 
to her best, okay? But here's the synergy team I'm going in with. So let's look at the synergies for a little bit. All right, I just went down. So she has a synergy with Ghost, which I think is phenomenal. Okay, I usually look at synergies as who they have a synergy with, as well as what it does. And Ghost is somebody that I can see myself questing with because I quest with her all the time. Okay, so each miss that occurs during phase grants two additional prowess. Okay, and they can stack above the normal limit. Sounds good. Next synergy, while 10 plus are active, become passively unblockable while phased. That is huge. That is one of those must-have synergies. And it's with Tigra, who is also a great champion in her own right. Tigra, if you learn her, is one of the better champions in the contest, but she does have a high skill cap. So again, I could see myself bringing her along. Okay. Then we've got Magneto. Do we need to say anything more about Magneto? Magneto will rip up folks that are metal. Okay. When phasing, gain one Fury buff for each debuff on Kitty. Each increasing attack rating by 7% for 5 seconds. Max of 5. I run suicides. So I have debuffs on me. So that's great. And again, Magneto is great in his own right. And then this final one is Dragon Man. Increase the duration of Incinerate debuffs. She puts Incinerates on, so it's a little bit more damage. However, I can easily see myself switching Dragon Man for Wasp with the Ghost Synergy and bringing that team in. That right there, because right now Hood is not really needed as much because they are working on some things with the controls and the timing, the input system, and I'm not able to phase out my recoil. So having Hood, which is what I primarily wanted him there for, is not really helping out, okay? So I can easily see myself going in with a team like this with um, Wasp instead of Dragon Man. All right, let's go in, and I have watched a video so what I'm going to do is I built up to three prowess. All right. And I'm going to. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's awesome. All right. I'm going to try to build up to a special three. Just look at this. This is nuts. This is so fun. Look at this. That is a crazy synergy, y'all. All right, so I fired off a special three while I was phased. But look at her. She is just tearing things up. I need to learn her a little bit better. Look at this. What was he trying to do? Oh my goodness, look at this. I don't think, I think he's scared to fire off that special oh whoops I say that and then I tried to phase and I just messed it up all right here we go I did that while I was phased look at that damage that is awesome that kind of distracted me that is sweet just look at her I'm not really doing much of anything guys I messed up a couple of times, but I mean, really, I'm just doing a lot of backdraft intercepting. Don't even care. Look at this. Boom. And she's done. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Okay. I am very excited to start using her. And I, this is me uh, being a newbie. Okay, I'm not, I don't know her best rotation. Um, I saw a little bit where you want her temperature to go um, as high as it can because that increases her uh, prowess. All right. Woo, just look at that. Crazy and unblockable. So, hmm. That is sweet right there, man. 
So I'm just going to try to build up to a special three. I'm just going back and forth, guys. Back and forth. Even when she does that, it doesn't matter. All right. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. She is definitely all that. She is definitely in my top uh, champs for um, this year. Okay, I need to stop doing that. I see what I'm doing there. Because I don't have the um, prowess built up. And so I'm messing up. But look at the temperature. All right. Temperature's going up. And so I'm looking at it, but I'm, I'm messing up. All right. Let's say hit it. She had like about 200. Whew. That is a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Okay. Yeah, I used up my prowess. She doesn't have a three yet. Okay, now. And we need a little bit more. She's at 400, right? So let's do this. Oh, no, no, I didn't. She wasn't unblockable. My bad, my bad. Oh, she didn't punish me. But she's at 400 temperature. So if I can get that special two off while she's phased. Oh yeah, here it comes. Look at that damage. Nasty. Nasty. And I want you to notice, even though I was messing up, look at where we left with her health. Go back and look. Because while she's not taking damage, I'm getting that willpower healing. So I'm just slowly healing all throughout the fight. Yeah. She's all that and a bag of chips. All right. So... That's going to do it for this video, but that is not going to do it for all the gameplay. So, so far this year, my favorite champions are Shang-Chi, Hercules, and Kitty Pride. And I need to play a lot more with Kitty Pride, but she is fun. Like Hercules is fun. Shang-Chi is also fun, but he's fun in a different way. Because you have a lot of control, a lot of versatility, a lot of utility with him. But, oh yeah, I'm going to love her. Anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day.